Nuts, arsenic and mercury, zinc, nickel, copper, chromium and benzene, chlorine, toluene, dioxin and beryllia, and lead and cyanide and DDT and trichlorethylene, and phosphorus, copper, phosphorus, phosphorus, acetone, PVC and BPA and xylomethane, hexanone, radium, uranium and copper, leptonium, plafluorooctanoic acid, ethanol and naphthalene, and iodine and gasoline and propane, octane, ethylene. Mesos, mopox, chicken, pox, rubella, mums, and cholera, ribola, sars, and techno, tanga, shingles, influenza, anthrax, TPH, by diphtheria, chlamydia, and rabies, scabies, H, by listeria, malaria. There's salmonella, botulism, norovirus, gear, deer, toxoplasma, foot in mouth, coli, septicemia, meningitis, typhoid, and clostridium, neglaria, and helicobacter pylori, and hepatitis ABC. There's drowning, poison, tripping, burning, falling off a ladder, and there's cuts and stabs, and guns, and bombs, and weapons, even sadder. Cars and trucks, and bicycles, and even unicycles, and there's snakes, and bears, and insects, and so many other animals. There's tsunami, floods, and mudslides, earthquakes, dust storms, avalanches, and there's forest fires and lava flows, eruptions, quite astounding. Hurricanes, tornadoes, mega storms, and global warming, new technologies that look so good but harm you without warning. These hazards are enough to rattle anyone's composure, but to turn them into risks, they need a dollop of exposure.